say it, Kevin. You can say it. There's nobody going to jump on you for saying what is the truth. The white man, exactly. The white man who owns the livestock, that's who we have to go to for food. Hey, brother, so when you want to get something to eat, where you go to get some to eat? You said low employment places. So who runs those low employment places? The government. The government, which is who? Who's the who's the government? Who's the people in that government? The Illuminati. The Illuminati. So, so is our people the Illuminati? Is the black people the Illuminati? Some, but who are the leaders of that? Oh, see, president. So president, which are so-called what? So-called Negroes. <laughs> so Negroes are not uh, leading these Illuminatis that put I the pressure so on our called. people. So-called so called. Negroes. All right? So-called. So, 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 so don't get me wrong. So-called. All right? <laughs> okay, so yeah, again, so what we're showing you here is, Kevin, that according to the Bible, God said we would serve our enemies for the one of all things. Right. God calls the people who we got to go to for food, for water, for housing, for employment. He says those of our enemies, right. he said that he will put a yoke of iron upon our necks until we are destroyed. Right. The yoke of iron has been taken off is because we will it now, said, because we will we call ourselves African American or Mexican. You won't find none of those terms in the Bible. We hold those things with pride of us saying that this is my nationality. This is who I am. But that's not what the Bible says. Should have brought our more because we're not even giving out the other hate now. We're giving our English to Did we ever have a choice to pick our own name? I'm going to show you the choice that we did have. Right? So I'm looking out on there right there. So you got that uh, cross right there. You believe in Christ? We have a lot of English. Oh, yeah. Whatever the cross is. The cross is the cross. So what does that mean? The cross is a cross to you. What does that mean? I mean, God is going to keep wearing his Okay. Yeah. This, your God is brown. So your God is brown. All right. So, time. so your God yeah. is brown. So, so when you come to those cross, uh, uh, Rosemary, uh, let's go to that cross. What's your the, name, uh, bro? F and the, and the Midnight. Yeah, Rosemary. So, so when we right here, and we're talking about the cross here. So you believe in the cross also? No. Kevin, you, uh, you you believe in the cross? The cross right there. Right there. Give more light. Take more light. You believe in that? Yeah, no, the cross, the cross itself. So, what does the cross do for us? It cross niggas out. All right, so, so hey, what's your name, brother? Brother right there. Will, so, what does the cross do for us as a people? The so-called blacks and Hispanic neighbor Americans. What does the cross do for us as a people? You say it brings us together. What you say, Will? Same thing, Kevin, what do you say? What does the cross do for us as a people? It's not the cross, it's what's behind it, okay? So what uh, So what about you, sis? What does the cross do for us as a people? Give me that uh, Hebeke, give me that Hebeke. Because let me ask you something, do people die with that same cross on? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So they get killed with the cross on. So how, how did that cross do anything for them? This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 18. What profited the graven image? So God said, what profited the graven image? Like, what does this image do for us as a people? Read. That the maker therefore have graven it, uh -huh. the molten image, and a teacher of lies. It's a teacher of lies because it said, he said, my brother Midnight said that the cross, where are you going, Midnight? It said the cross brings us together, right? But most of our people, blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, wear those crosses, but we are more divided than ever. We, we are more divided than ever. It crosses up, okay, but we'll set on the thing. Well, so hold on here. So I heard you, I remember you saying it brings together, but when you look also at those crosses, they also kill us. We also, we also look at those things as a protection. When we put on that cross, we think, God is protecting me when I wear this. But we, you should take it off, according to the Bible, because it's doing nothing for you, brother. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Read that, Deuteronomy 725. Hold on, midnight. 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 25. The graven images of their gods shall ye burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them. So God says, what you supposed to do with that? You supposed to burn, then burn it with fire. Get that thing, destroy that thing. It has no profit, no benefit to you. You don't need to have that because all they're doing is continue to bring destruction to your life. That is a curse that you hold in your hand. God says you need to burn that thing and get rid of it midnight. There's no purpose of you having that. So take that cross, burn it, and get rid of it, and don't ever put it on ever again. Because that's what's going to keep you from having salvation. That's what's going to have keep you from receiving eternal life that God has set up for you. God said that you are a king on this earth. That cross doesn't make you a king. It destroys you as a people. So that's what's going on. So what we are here doing is teaching our people true repentance according to the Bible. I mean, now you put it in your pocket, but make sure you burn that like the Bible says. All right? Make sure you get rid of that and burn it and don't go to it again. Read that. Midnight. Throw that thing down, Midnight. He said, listen, listen what the God said. The graven images of their God. Of their God. Who God? That's how we stop believing in this white image of Jesus Christ. He not white. Nowhere in the Bible is he white. With that cross, that will come lies. Tell me he just read to you, Midnight. With that cross came lies. We saw worshiping other gods. That's not gods. Read. Shall ye burn with fire? Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them. Usually it's silver or gold on them. Go ahead. Nor take it unto thee. No what? Take it unto thee. He put it in his pocket. We he did? Take it unto thee. He said you not supposed to take it unto thee. Lest thou be snared therein. Lest you be trapped with it thinking it's going to protect you. Thinking it got some type of power. What is not a power is full of lies. It's full of deceit. You understand? It's full of confusion. Bring it out. Because it got no benefits to it. The Roman Catholics gave you that damn thing. And they thought you thought it was doing something proper for you. But it wasn't midnight. But what he said, look at what he said. For it is an abomination. It's what? An abomination. Abomination, midnight, brother, sister, is a vile, filthy thing. Right. Abomination like throw up. You see a dog eat throw up, how it looks that nasty as a He said that's an abomination. Right. And God hates abomination. Read. Read. To the Lord thy God. Who is an abomination to who? The Lord thy God. If you really trust in the Lord thy God, like I said, you'll throw that thing down where we can throw it away and you can never get to it again. Right. Read. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house. Neither what? Neither shalt thou bring an abomination. Come on, Midnight. He said, neither shall you bring an abomination into your house. Right. 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 And that's to you and her too. If y'all got crosses, rip them off the wall and throw them out the window. Right. If you got crosses in your Bible in your back, rip it away and throw it away. Right. Right. Read. Lest thou be a cursed thing like it. He said, lest you become a curse. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's bad. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Midnight, come on, midnight. Here's my question. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? A curse. A curse? A, 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 a curse. Is it a curse, a good thing, or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. Look what he said. You right. You right about that. No, you right about that. But look what he said. Read that again. Lest there be a curse thing like it, but thou shalt utterly detest it. You should hate it. You should utterly hate that thing. That's why he said you're going to become a cursed thing like that cross and you should hate that damn thing. And thou shalt utterly abhor it. For it is a cursed Abhor, abhor means hate. Right. You, should, you should hate that damn thing. For it is a cursed thing. It is a what? Cursed thing. It is a what? Cursed thing. In layman words we just said it's a bad thing. Right. So midnight you gonna drop it down? Oh. That cross. That cross is not gonna do anything. Drop, drop it right there. Cause you take it in them, you might end up getting put to death. Then it says a cursed thing. When you say you just admit a curse is a bad thing. So if you riding around with a curse, you are setting for evil things to follow you. Right. That's why you want to put it down right now. Bring it, on it don't matter if it was. Why not? 
This is a church right here. Right. Right. You are in the church right now. Right. You are in the holy ground right now to be able to go and put that down and show your repentance to God. And that's the thing with us. That's the thing with us. We, as a people, we were hard-headed. Right. God said, and we don't keep his commandments, curse is going to fall. And give me Deuteronomy 20, 28, verse 15. You, right you got to understand. And, right and that's the issue with our people. And that's why we got drugs in our community. Right. That's why we got gangs in our community. Right. That's why we killing each other. Right. It's because we hard-headed to God. God said, do this. Read that. Do this is a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not, Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So midnight, God is telling you right now, if you choose not to listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, where he told you to put that curse cross away from you and don't bring it into your house, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it's not just going to be one curse that's going to come upon you. It's going to be a multitude of evil things going on you. Because you heard the word of God and you continue to bruise it. All praise to the Most High. That is right there, brother. It's called true repentance. On that flyer. Hey, on that flyer, we got our address on there. Right? So uh, what's, the, what's the address? 5301 Western. 5301 Western. It's on that flyer, right? Midnight. So we got... Uh, some uh, we got classes on the, the Sabbath, right, that you can be able to come to, right? And we have our phone number on there. You need to show up to the school because your time is now ticking. That's right. You've been marked. Right. God has came to you and told you today that you are Israelite according to the Bible right. and you need to keep his commandments. Right. And every day that you put off from side to side, it's more closer to your judgment day. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.